and I, in many ways, move through the world as if we were one being. She's my eyes, sense of security. She's at my side all the time. And in many respects, she's literally an extension of me. Before I lost my sight, I led a very active life. I really love the trail systems and the outdoors experiences that this island offers. And I didn't want to lose any of that. With my dog, I'm doing things that people don't expect a person who's nearly blind to be doing. I wouldn't do it by myself, but I can do it with my dog. And she can do it because of great Canadian partnerships like Purdy's Chocolatier. I'm talking about uh, Canadian guide dogs for the blind and Purdy's Chocolatier coming up with yet another great fundraising campaign. I'm joined by uh, Daniel Meany. He's a trainer with the Canadian Gu uh, Guide Dogs for the Blind. Welcome. Great to have you Thank here, you. Daniel. Good to be here. And Stephen Doucette, who is a volunteer. Welcome, Stephen. Thank great you, to Dan. have you here as well. Um, first of all, how, how did you and, and why did you get involved, Stephen? Well, we have a longstanding history with Purdy's Chocolatier. And in fact, the Canadian Guide Dogs for the Blind are national training centers located in Manitick here in Ottawa. Right. And uh, we're a national oral organization. I can remember 20 years ago, staff in the office you know, would say to any of the employees going to Vancouver, if you're going to Vancouver, you have to go to Purdy's Chocolatier and bring back hedgehogs. Really? It was, a, it was an wow. office rule. Yeah, uh, that was before Purdy's uh, Chocolatier expanded across the country. Of course, now they're in the, the five major malls in the auto area right, and yeah. retail outlets across the country. But uh, we started the fundraising program about 10 years ago okay. uh, at Easter time, and then Christmas was introduced. So basically, uh, anyone in the public can order Purdy's chocolate, some of the best chocolate you're gonna find oh, in this country for sure. Yeah. Uh, you can order it online at guidedogs.ca and 25% of the proceeds go back to Canadian Guide Dogs for the Blind. So basi basically you're gonna pay the same as you would in a Purdy store, right. but instead you can order online and support the charity. And it's open to any charity, any schools, uh, scouting groups, guides, uh, sporting teams, anybody that wants to do this can, can participate. Yeah, so it's, I it's, wanna throw that in there for Purdy's too. Yeah, 100%. I mean, uh, having partnerships like this are so meaningful. And you know, we just saw you know that video opening up at how Purdy meant so much to, to Anne. Let's talk about um, the training that, that goes goes into this because it's um, it's quite significant, isn't it, Daniel? Yes, uh, it's, it's quite a process. So this is uh, Brady here. Brady is two years old and he's three months into his formal training. Okay. Um, but before that, uh, he's with a uh, volunteer family for the first year and a half to two years of his life. Um, and then they come to our National Training Centre in Manatek where oh, yeah, one of the other trainers will take him on board and uh, do about five to eight months of training, get him fully trained and ready to help someone like Anne who is visually impaired to uh, improve their mobility and independence. Daniel, uh, does, does it have to be a particular breed or particular breeds of dog that, that you use? Uh, so Canadian Guide Dogs is coming up to 40 years and they've kind of found that Labradors and Golden Retrievers and mixes of the two have been the most successful. Um, they're very willing and they love to work for food, so you know it's, it's just a natural kind of uh, choice for us to uh, we use a lot of labs and well I like to work for food so. too because yeah. when I saw a delivery from Purdy's this morning when I came into the office let me tell you I got I got excited <laughs> I think the entire I had to fight mm. people off because everybody knows Purdy's chocolatier especially around the holidays but but year-round what's the cost involved um, Stephen of, of training a dog like, for like for Brady? a guide dog it really depends on where the client lives and what type of service they they require an aftercare service but generally it averages to about forty to fifty thousand dollars per guide dog wow. through the lifetime Time of the guide dog. Um, you mentioned hedgehog, but we we brought a, f a few different styles here of, of chocolate that Purdy's Chocolatier has. Uh, walk us through. Like this must be some of the best sellers. I yeah, imagine, basically, right? basically, up to there, the there's a, there's a lot of variety in the Christmas product. The hedgehogs are the best seller, and and they're a hazelnut uh, chocolate and, and very fine chocolate. We have gift baskets, but a lot of Christmas themed ideas as well. Right. There's stocking stuffers um, right up to large gift baskets and items as as low as five dollars or less. Um, up to large gift baskets so so it's great if somebody wants to purchase chocolate as a gift for Christmas it's also great for corporate gifts if you're a, an office manager a business manager or owner yeah. and you want to give corporate gifts you can support a charity at the same time everybody loves that but it's not necessarily a straight donation they're getting chocolate in return yeah, so exactly better, yeah right? it's you're, you got um, that right yeah vegan chocolate as well so a wide okay. variety so basically Excellent. what you do is you go to guidedogs.ca you can order there online you'll find it in the events page um, you can order online by November 29th that's the okay. key is we have 
have to okay. have time for Purdy's to get everything ready for us, right. ship it to us. You order by November 29th online, it's taken care of, and then you just drop by Canadian Guide Dogs for the Blind and Man. I take the week prior to Christmas and pick up your chocolate. It's very simple. Daniel, this is really specialized training that we're talking about, right? I mean, if, if I take my, my dog to, you know, behavioral training or, you know, puppy training and that, and that kind of thing, it's going to be much... What's the process? What sort of training? How extensive is it? Uh, so, as I mentioned, the first year and a half they're spent with the uh, the puppy walking, the puppy raising family, um, and they volunteer for us and we have families all over Ottawa and a few in Toronto. Um, and they socialize the dog, get the dog uh, used to different environments like malls and busy areas and okay. stuff like that. So then when they come to us, we can kind of focus on the more um, like guide work techniques, um, which really is you, we train the dogs to stop at down curbs and then uh, between the dog and the user they decide when it's safe to cross. Uh, we train the dog to avoid obstacles um, and it might be something that wasn't there the day before so if there might be your walk to work might just be a couple of blocks but there might be some construction that pops up so right. we train the dog to use his initiative uh, to work around obstacles that they encounter. Always looking for volunteers, I imagine? Yeah, right. definitely, especially puppy raisers. We call okay. them puppy walkers, yeah. technically, yeah. but it's much more. You're taking a dog into your home for, for a year and a half to two years and uh, raising it as your own, but uh, following our rules and guidelines, and, and, and that dog eventually will go on to become a guide dog. But lots of other capacities as well, uh, volunteer drivers, helping right. with events and fundraising, but, but mainly if anybody's home during the day, that's the important part, or they have to have permission to take the dog to work in order to be a puppy raiser. Uh, Stephen, just about 30 seconds, if somebody's watching and you know they want to do a community fundraiser, a corporate fundraiser, all the information available again online. Exactly, like guidedogs.ca, the best place to go for all of our contact information. Of course, we're on socials as well, but um, visit the website and get in touch with us. We operate solely through donations, so any any you know donations, whether it's corporate, individual donations, but but giving back in in other ways is great too. Excellent, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And Brady, thank you for coming as well. I asked if he was named after Brady Kachuk. We're not sure, but that's what I'm going. With. By the way, we're talking sends right after the break. Don't go anywhere.